In this video today, we are talking about everything you need to know about the Hogwarts Legacy map. Hopefully this video will help you navigate the map easier and also teach you a few things to help with your gameplay. Before we open up the map, we have to talk about the flu flames. I'm sure you all know already that these flames help you fast travel throughout the map. These flu flames have to be accessed first before you can use it to fast travel. All you have to do is get near the flames and it will unlock. A great thing to know is you're able to unlock the flu flames while on a broom. So if you are passing by an area with a flu flame and it's relatively close, it won't hurt to do a quick drive by with your broom to unlock this area for fast travel. Now, when you open up your Hogwarts map, there are a few things to know. Kind of weird, but there's two parts to this map. First, you have to click a flag to get to the area that you want in Hogwarts. Then from there, that area you select will give you access to the different flu flames in that selection. To be honest, the best way to be efficient and not get confused is to just use the titles on the left side of your map. These titles are a lot smoother when you have to pick a specific location to fast travel to. I'm not going to lie. This map still feels a little bit clunky and a little tricky, but you'll get used to it. Now, if we look at the top right side of the map menu, there's a legend showing you all the collectibles in that area. Here on the Hogwarts map, we have 35 chests, 150 field guide pages, 10 demigod statues, and one astronomy table. This is great because the game lets you know exactly how many collectibles there are in this area to get. Other games, you have to guess if you properly collected all the items in that area. There are multiple maps that you can access by clicking the red icons on top. You can also quickly switch maps by clicking left or right on your D-pad. I prefer to use my D-pad since it makes map transitions feel smoother rather than waiting for your cursor to reach the top of the map. I'm not gonna lie, during my early game sessions, I didn't realize there were different maps. I was too confused with the whole flag system, the flu locations. I didn't even realize there was three different maps on top. So the three different maps are Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, and the world map. Something not a lot of people know is when you open the world map, you can click on your right stick to access the wait feature. This feature allows you to skip time to night or day. This is an important mechanic to use when capturing beasts or solving puzzles. Some beasts only spawn during the night. For example, Mooncalf. Using this feature can also help you respawn beasts or enemy camps if you're trying to farm them for experience. It takes a whole day for a beast or enemy camp to respawn. So if you already caught all the Mooncalfs in an area, you have to go a little bit away from the camp, then use this wait feature two times for the beast to respawn. My favorite part about this map is your ability to zoom in and out of your map using the left trigger or right trigger buttons. This shows you just how huge the Hogwarts Legacy map is and more importantly, the different regions. When looking at the specific regions on the top right, the legend for collectible items is still there. This will give you an idea of how complete a region is and what collectibles you can find there. Most importantly, it shows you the enemy levels in that region as well. Here you see North Ford Bog has enemies ranging from level 10 to 25. Now, if we go south of the map to Manor Cape, we see there are enemies ranging from level 25 to 40. This is important because if you're traveling to Manor Cape at a low level and want to fight some enemies for fun, you might be a little shocked at how strong they are. And lastly, you can mark an area to help give you a trail to follow. When you get your broom, the trail won't be as useful, but it will still give you a marker indication to help you fly in the right direction. When you are exploring on your broom, don't forget to spam Revelio. This will help reveal locations that you have not been to yet. If you are struggling with a combat system, I'll link a video at the end that will help you. But besides that, this is everything you need to know about the Hogwarts legacy map. Let me know in the comments if there is anything I missed and also like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Hogwarts legacy videos. It's your belief. Peace.